Hi everyone, my name is Anthony and this is an introduction to CodeIgniter. CodeIgniter is a framework for PHP and it's one of the more popular frameworks for PHP. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up CodeIgniter on your computer. We're also going to look at how to install XAMPP and we're, I'm also going to introduce you to a free ID called Aptana. So the first thing you can do is download XAMPP um, which is uh, which is a server bundle and includes Apache server, MySQL, and PHP. And you can use this one or you can use another one like like WAMP, but it's important that we have this server bundle on our computer which is going to let us run PHP uh, on our own computer. So if you don't have this already, install that. The next thing I'm going to show you is Aptana, and Aptana is a free IDE uh, that we can edit our code in. And I recommend using, you know, an ID like uh, Dreamweaver or Aptana or Eclipse um, when working with a framework like CodeIgniter because we're going to be editing many different files and these types of IDEs are going to be more convenient than something like Notepad++ which is more suited to just editing a few different documents. So if you want to use Aptana with me, just uh, type that in there and download it. The last thing I'm going to show you is CodeIgniter. So in order to get CodeIgniter, just type something like this in Google and it'll be the first link. So CodeIgniter.com slash downloads and let's click on that. And you'll see a button here which is download CodeIgniter. Um, at the time of this recording it's version 2.1.2 .2, but if you are seeing a different version that doesn't matter. Just download it and we can see that it is 2.2 megabytes large so CodeIgniter has a smaller footprint than a lot of other um, frameworks like Pear or whatnot and I'll double click here and I'll double click that and once I'm inside the zip here I'm going to push control A and then control C to copy all of those I'm going to close this and then I'm going to I'm going to go into, so I've already got XAMPP installed. If you don't have it installed yet, install it. And once you do, you can go into wherever you installed it. You'll see a folder called XAMPP and then htdocs. And htdocs, um, this is essentially, this is the root folder of our uh, server where our web pages are being served up. So I've got another folder in here. Um, this is for another website. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I can just click here. And I'm going to call this CI underscore intro. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to paste in the files. And it's four meg less than four megabytes once it's unzipped. Okay, so we have got CodeIgniter installed in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Aptana. Now what we want to do here is we want to create a new project inside Aptana um, and it's going to so it's going to show all of our uh, all of our CodeIgniter files in here so when we edit here it's going to edit those files and you know and then we're going to be able to open up in the browser and see our changes immediately so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click file here and then new new PHP project and I'm going to call this CI underscore intro. It doesn't have to be the same as um, what we had before, but give your project a name. And then I'm going to unclick this because I don't want it to do here. I want it to. I want the location to be that location in my XAMPP folder um, where my CodeIgniter is. So I'm going to browse here, and I'm going to go. So, so we have C, and I'm going to go to XAMPP, and I'm going to click on htdocs, and this is what we had here, CI Angel, I'm going to select that. We've got it selected here, click OK, and it's going to give me a warning that it's going to overwrite pre-existing files, but actually it doesn't do this, but it's going to add in a few files of its own, um, which sort of connects that, connects those files to Aptana here. So we're going to click finish here and then we can open this up and we can see that 
here is all of our code igniter, code igniter files here and if I go back into here and I refresh here well we can see we can see the files that Abtan has added I believe it's added this one yep and it's added this one so these are just some some config files and a project file here that connects it to Abtana and that's fine um, so in order to test um, in order to test whether or not you know this Abtana and the folders are are connected correctly uh, we can do a test so what I'm going to do in another well we can do it in a new browser here I'm going to type localhost slash my ci underscore intro and we can see here that code igniter was installed successfully we can see that PHP is running fine and um, oh by the way if you've got XAMPP installed but you're getting some problems here check your XAMPP control panel and make sure that Apache is running and you can let MySQL run too that won't hurt anything although we don't need it right now because we're not working with a database but let both of these run and then th this should be working fine and in order to to test that when we make changes in our Aptana the changes are going to show up here we're going to go back into our Aptana and we're going to try to um, edit this view so so just give a little brief introduction so code igniter is an MVC and an MVC stands for model view controller okay so this is the um, this is the structure of it this the way these websites are served up uses models views and controllers okay so what we're looking at here is we're looking at the view so the presentation is the view and we're looking at one of the views inside code igniter so what we're going to do is we're going to try and change this view in Aptana just to make sure that everything's working correctly so I'm going to open up Aptana again and I'm going to go to that view which is in I'm going to click on application then views and it's this welcome message right here okay so you can open up the welcome message and I'm just going to change this welcome to code igniter. I'm going to change this to okay. I'm going to change it, welcome to Anthony's website, and I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go back here, and we're going to refresh. And that didn't work. Let's try to figure out why that didn't work. Um, let's see, localhost. The intro and let's go back here and that saved up let's try it again oh and we can see actually I did make the change I changed the title that was silly of me let's see Anthony here let's go back here again and this was the title of course and what I want to do is actually I'm going to I'm going to delete all these styles we'll take those out if we want styles we can make our own and welcome to Anthony's website and we'll go back here refresh okay and we can see we removed all the styles here and we changed that view Okay, so we know that our Aptana and our XAMPP and our Code Igniter are all working correctly. Okay, thanks for watching.